Hi everyone, Amri Batson here. Welcome to my channel. I'm a sports broadcaster, host, journalist and commentator and I'll be bringing you weekly videos of the big news stories in the sports world, in the sports industry, but we're just going to go a little bit deeper past the headlines. This week's topic is an interesting one. Coming up next. The Football Association, known as the FA, which is the governing body for football in England, announced this week that they're going to be trialling yellow and red cards for the English Football League, which is the second tier, if you like, in the pyramid of the Football League. So you've got the Premier League at the top and then you've got the Championship, Leagues 1, Leagues 2 and then everybody else underneath. So excluding the Premier League at the top, everybody else, they're going to trial in the forthcoming 2018-19 football season yellow and red cards for behaviour for people on the touchline so we're talking about managers uh, the physiotherapists the assistant coaches coaches anybody that's within that technical area may be issued a red or yellow card now if you watch football on a regular basis you'll be already aware of this system you know that players are subject to discipline so if a player commits a foul it's a yellow card if uh, a player brings down um, somebody who's trying to score a goal and the, the last person standing is a straight red and a penalty as well. So this system is already in place. But what is interesting is that it's also going to apply to the touchline. So looking at my notes. So yellow card could be given for dissent. That means, uh, you know, you're not behaving in the way that you should be. For example, if you get a second yellow, then that translates into a red card and that means you're sent away probably from the stands. But you also have a straight red card as well for poor serious abuse and serious behavioural issues. So it's broken down if, into different behavioural types. And again, I'm just gonna look at my notes because the list is quite extensive. So for example, you could receive, you will receive, I shouldn't say could, you will receive a yellow card for dissent, for example. Sarcastic clapping, great example of that. Jose Mourinho loves to do that or do this at referees. Now you could get a yellow card for that or something a bit stronger, if the case may be. Entering opponent's technical area is another one. Foul and abusive language. Kicking water bottles is also on the list. Conflict with supporters, which I find very interesting. And I'm glad that one has been added to the list. Now, with all these things, there are certain levels. And if you accumulate a certain number of yellow cards, it means that you're going to go and have a conversation with someone. So if you receive four yellow cards, that is a one match ban. Eight yellow cards is a two match ban. 16, Evans, 16 yellow cards, you'll find yourself sitting in front of the FA disciplinary panel where there'll be more sanctions given as well. Now, what is interesting about this is, as I mentioned in the beginning, this only applies to the EFL, which is the English Football League and the National Leagues. The Premier League, it's something completely different for them. They're only going to be offered or told about verbal warnings. There'll be no red card, there'll be no yellow card. So a couple of points. I think this is long overdue, long, long, long overdue. The Premier League and the EFL, the Championship, the National Leagues, these are games that are broadcast around the world, whether it be on broadcast television or through some sort of streaming service or online. People can watch these matches and I think it's now time to say to people that certain things will not be tolerated. And I'm really pleased that within the behaviour types, things like foul and abusive language, children do watch football matches, funnily enough, and you need to be, you know, I know this is a whole debate about being a role model, but it's also about good behaviour, about good manners. So that's my first point. The second one is um, about referees as well. They do, male and female, have the most one of the I don't say one of the most toughest jobs in football because that's not for me to say but it's a difficult one it's a challenging one for sure and I think they need I don't want to say help but they need that backup they need that reassurance that if a fourth official is getting in the ear from a manager because a referee's made a decision about a certain thing they need to know you know what if you're going to cross a line by the way that I've been spoken to I'm going to issue a yellow card so that's that one the third point, which is the most obvious one of all, is why hasn't the Premier League been included? As announced this week, the Premier League will be issued with uh, guidance in terms of verbal warnings. 
It's an interesting one that the Premier League haven't been included. My own personal view, I would say, it's because they probably want to see how the pilot works. And if it's a success, they might implement it in the 2019-2020 season. My question of the day, do you think the Premier League should have been included in the pilot programme or not? Please let me know in the comments below. As ever, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back soon with more videos, more discussion points from the sports world and the sports industry, but going a bit deeper past the headlines. Take care and I'll see you soon.